The Miami Dolphins are so porous in the secondary that there are no immediate solutions to solve the depth problem at cornerback. Xavier Howard is the Dolphins' best defensive player but he has been banged up in the past and if an injury happens, the Dolphins' 2022 season could be over quickly. Sadly, Howard's potential for injury is the least of Miami's concerns at corner. Byron Jones has been out all training camp as he recovers from minor Achilles surgery. Initially, he was expected to be ready for week one but now that isn't guaranteed and that would leave Nick Needham starting opposite of Howard. Okay. Needham has shown significant improvement over the last two seasons and could probably handle the job for a short period of time and maybe he shows he could be a longer-term solution. But what is behind him? On Saturday, he looked to have dislocated a finger, nothing too serious, but his absence was noticed, losing Trill Williams in preseason game one absolutely stung a defense already lacking quality depth at the position. Williams was probably the best corner Miami had not named Howard slash Jones slash Needham. Now, the Dolphins are relying on journeyman Mackenzie Alexander and Elijah Campbell. Alexander is still picking up the defensive scheme but he didn't look confident on Saturday night. His seven seasons in the NFL should help get better quickly but is he the answer if the Dolphins need help outside? Keon Crossan has had a solid camp so far and he enters his fifth season in the NFL. Crossan is a good special teams player but it's uncertain if he can man the outside should he be thrust into a starting role. Rookie Cater Kohu is, well, a rookie and in a normal year, we would discount the chances of him making the roster but this year, his chances may be higher given the lack of depth on the team, no one is more baffling than Noah Igbenegin. There is no reason for him to make the 2022 roster but given the lack of depth, there is a good chance he does just that and sadly, Igbenegin has not shown through two preseason games that he is capable of taking a step forward in his progress. The Dolphins need to look at the market and find veterans with starting experience. They will need to watch the waiver wires over the next two weeks and somehow find a way to some security at the corner position. If not, Miami is one injury away from horrendous possibilities.